All right, all right. Hey, mama, it's your girl, Denise Nicole. And today we are talking about that quote, the answer to that quote, right? Like how to do what that quote says, to never confuse what you're offered with what you're worth. And so I know for me, I didn't know what I was worth. A lot of y'all don't know what you're worth. And that's why you keep getting it confused with what you're offered. So before we get into all of that, go ahead and share this with your single mom friends. We are going to be talking about how to have the mindset of a chooser. So we're gonna be talking about what the mindset of a chooser is. We're gonna be talking about why it makes more sense than what you're currently doing and how to never confuse what you're offered with what you're worth again. So let's go ahead and get into it. Again, like I said on the post, I know for me, you know, I'm a former single mom, turned into single mom mentor now. I'm Denise Nicole with the Baby Mama Makeover. So it is my goal to help single moms make over their stories in the same way that mine has been, right? And I know for me, I spent so much time focusing on wanting to be chosen. You know, that was like my ultimate goal in relationships is I just wanted to be chose, you know, like pick me, pick me. It was like the kids, at you know recess i wanted to be picked and you know what the bad thing about that is is that you feel like you're not in control if that's you know where you're currently at you feel like you're sitting and waiting you feel like it is up to men you know whether or not you're in a relationship and whether or not you get married or you know all these other things and i'm here to tell you you know that that is a lot that that is you know not how we want to go about our relationships any further so i will you know i i feel like i also need to make a note to say that women in particular as well as single moms sometimes i know you know for myself so i feel like i have to say it for anybody else that is feeling the same way i did we feel like we come at a deficit, right? We feel like damaged goods. We feel like, you know, um, as a single mom, especially, right? Who's gonna wanna be with me? Who Who is going to want to choose me because I have these kids, I'm not pure. All these other things which diminish our value in our minds and then communicate less value to other people. And so I want to, you know, before we get into the actual details, I definitely want to say not to think about yourself as damaged good, not to think about yourself as diminished value, but to know, you got to know that even though you have kids, even though you've been through things, that does not change your value, right? And so I'm thinking about this analogy. Many of you may have seen or heard about this analogy where there's a hundred dollar bill that is you know pristine that's straight that just came out of the bank you know reserves and then there's a hundred dollar bill that has been crumpled up it's been balled up you know it's been through some things right but guess what does that hundred dollar bill lose its value no it is still worth a hundred dollars so it doesn't matter if you've gone through some things you are still as worthy as you were before you've gone through those things you just need to know that and you just need to pre present yourself as that or you will get caught up in confusing what you're offered and taking that instead of what you're worth. So let's go ahead and talk about what the mindset of a chooser is. I actually learned this concept from this book um, by Matthew Hussey called How to Get the Guy. So if you're wanting to learn more things about how to improve how you act in relationships or around men, I highly recommend this book. Um, but he talks about the mindset of a chooser and the mindset of a chooser. The first thing that you want to do as a chooser is you want to change your intent. So going back to what we just said, you want to change the intent from being chosen to knowing that you also have a choice in any interaction in any relationship that you're in with men, right? Okay, the second thing is that you want to place less value on the outcome. I'm looking at my phone. 
You want to place less value on the outcome. So you don't want to get so caught up in every interaction that you're having in that, oh gosh, is he going to choose me? Is he going to pick me? Am I going to be the one? Is this going to be my husband? Are we going to date forever and ever? No, you really want to just have fun right with people before you are in that monogamous stage before you're in that committed stage you want to just get to know people you want to allow people to get to know you because with the mindset of the chooser you know that you're not just going to meet the the you're not going to fall in love with the first person you meet you're not going to meet the love of your dreams maybe the first interaction that you have so, so you need to know the criteria of a person before you choose. When you see someone who's attractive, that is just the first, you know, the first level of like, oh, he looks good, he might be interested, right? Not he looks good, he's everything, I want him, got to have him, okay? No, he just passed the first level. You're attracted to him physically, but guess what? There's some other criteria that needs to take place for you to choose him. And trust and believe, men are doing this same thing as well. You're being chosen as well. They are thinking about, you know, their criteria, criteria, which is why you need to be thinking about the criteria of the type of man that you want to be in a relationship as well. And so um, the third thing is you need to go into this knowing that you will not be everyone's cup of tea. Okay, just point blank, period. And you don't have to fall out about it. You don't have to, you know, be triggered. And it doesn't have to be like this super traumatic thing. Like, it's okay. You're not everyone's cup of tea. And then the fourth thing is that everyone won't fit your bill as well, right? And so that's why you can be okay knowing that everyone, that you're not everyone's cup of tea because everyone is not going to fit your bill. Now, I'm not talking about saying, oh, he's this tall he's this he's automatically out of the loop what i'm saying is getting to know people again we're changing the intent so we're not just like we're not going into it you know wondering like if i'm going to be immediately chosen or hey pick me pick me i'm not going into it wanting to be married tomorrow either we are changing our intent and we are placing less value on the outcome so that we can have fun and get to know people as well as allow people to get to know us, okay? And so when you are doing that, when you, you know, take men through the levels, then you are going to see, okay, these people are attractive. These people I'm interested in. These people mm, I'm really interested in and so on and so forth. I think next week I'm going to actually go over the relationship funnel with you so that you can see the actual steps that you take me through now that you have the mindset of a chooser. And so last but not least, again, you know, I'm kind of hinting at it. You want to remain curious. You don't ever want, you want to keep an open mind. You know, I um, <laughs> I watched This Is Us and it was so funny last episode. Um, Beth was like, you see my shoes I have on? Open toe shoes for an open mind. You know, if you need to do something like that and wear open toe shoes on dates so that you have an open mind, you know, to remind yourself to have an open mind and do what you need to do. But you want to remain curious. And the only way you can remain curious is if you aren't shutting people off immediately. You know, here's, here's something else that I'll say um, that I think is key here in remaining curious is even if a person is reminding you of previous relationships, um, think, you know, like, like allow that thing to play out. Don't shut it down before it ends. And you don't uh, assume that you know where it's going. Um, but give that thing the opportunity, you know, like we say, give that person the time to show you who he is. Because I know now that I am married, there have been situations where it felt like um, the situation was going to go in the same way that previous relationships did. But my husband, even before he was my husband, right, showed me that he wasn't the same, showed me that he cared more or that, you know, it, I was more important to him than whatever that situation was. And so you won't ever know that if you're cutting things off because you're scared that they look similar to things that you've experienced in the past. In the past. So that 
guys, is the mindset of a chooser. It's essentially going into things knowing that you're not sitting just to be chosen, but that you are also a chooser. That even when someone chooses you, you still have the right and, you know, the know-how and because you have standards, because you, you know, know that what you're looking for, that you're not just saying yes to everything that comes across your line. Like I said in my post, there were guys that didn't make measure up that I still said yes to because they were, you know, choosing me. And so um, I think sometimes people are afraid to be alone. Sometimes, you know, we believe that if we don't say yes to this, no one else will come along. And that's a lie. And so it's like when you get super intentional about what it is that you desire and stop saying no to the stuff that's not it, right? So what's your offer? So what doesn't measure up? Then you'll have room for that thing to come in. Like I always think about if I'm holding on to something and someone wants to give me something, I don't have I don't have room to receive. And that's a lot of times how I feel about these relationships. We've said yes to people that don't measure up. We've said yes to, you know, being offered things that are less than our worth. And then when that, you know, one that we want or one that we really desire comes along, we don't have any room to receive it because we're holding on to something that isn't what we really want anyway, right? And so that kind of takes me into why it makes more sense than what you're currently doing. Because you are kind of sort of like beating yourself up by being with people and in relationships and situations and situationships right? <laughs> that you don't want to be in in the first place, right? And again, like I said, waiting for someone to choose you and only saying yes when you're chosen is so powerless in the sense that you feel like, oh, I have to be with this person because they chose me. Instead of I get to be with this person because I also chose them, right? And so the one thing that I can say about my relationship uh, with my husband is that, and I, the thing that I have seen in successful marriages is that they both chose each other and they continue to choose each other in every, you know, situation and every hardship, you know, and, and just in every day. But guys, that gets so hard to do when you feel like you're only there because you were chosen and you feel like you have to be there because he chose you versus, no, I choose him as well. Like I'm all in, he's all in and I'm all in. And it just, you know, it's just not the best situation that you could put yourself in. It's not what you're worth, okay? And so last but not least, how to never confuse what you're offered with what you're worth again. So we've kind of touched on these things all throughout this morning, um, this afternoon. Just you got to know your worth, right? You got to know that you are a chooser. You got to go into the situation with the mindset of a chooser. You need to go. You need to know that just as important as being chosen is you also choosing, right? Again, I just I just think that even without being single moms, that girls and women are, are taught some just really backward standards as it pertains to relationships, which is why I su suggest this book. I know that it sounds a little off on how to get the guy, right? It's like, oh, you have to pursue the guy. But that's not what this book is about at all. He's actually giving you inside things that attract guys to you so that they will pursue you. Things that, you know, you might not have been taught because you don't, you didn't have a brother to see or you didn't have a father to, you know, teach you these things that they actually work, you know? So, um... If you are interested in learning more about, you know, the things that you've gone through and digging into um, your experience with men and how that has shaped your relationships, how that has shaped your experiences in relationships, in situationships, how that has caused you to 
confused what you're offered with what you're actually worth. If you want to start a journey to rediscover who you are and what your worth is, and then learn how to date, right? You you might want to learn what the unhealthy patterns that you've had are, but then you want to learn how to date. How do you know? How do I stop uh, attracting the ones I don't? want right the unhealthy ones and then start attracting the ones that I want how do I date right how do I continue to have the mindset of a chooser um, and then if you want to get married as a single mom I take you through my journey from all of those stages you know how to be how to maximize your singleness regardless if there's a man involved or not how to go on the journey of actually dating in a healthy way and changing those habits as well as things to look forward to and be aware of when you actually get married in my four-week accelerator program for single moms it is called the baby mama makeover and guys i am so excited to announce that it is officially open for enrollment today i have been working on this course for so long um it is three parts it talks about we talk about motherhood we talk about money and then we talk about men and so over the next you know every week on monday i will be sharing bits and pieces from this course because it's just you know i want to give people this information no matter what but if you want to enroll if you want to take the next step then you want to go ahead and join the baby mom makeover and because i am finally launching it i am um my offer today is that there's a hundred dollars off so i am giving a hundred dollars off of this program from now through November. Those of you all who have attended the Baby Mama Boot Camp um, get a deal that's even better than that. So I'm going to drop a link here um, for, uh-oh, went on the wrong screen. I'm going to drop a link here, or maybe I'm not. <laughs> maybe I will text it. And while I'm doing that, I will um, open up for Q&A. If anyone has any questions, I'll stay on for about three minutes to answer Q&A live. Um, but the link that I am dropping right now is for you to get this course for $100 off. I will also drop the link to the Baby Mama Makeover for anyone who is interested in a free training series over the course of three days and an additional discount for um, the Baby Mama Makeover, you can take advantage of that. So are there any questions? I see a couple of you all on live. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I know sometimes these can have a delay. Hey, Marlena, I see you, girl. <laughs> Marlena is actually one of the moms who went through uh, my course with me, and I'm just so excited about the things that she has been able to um, discover and put in place and just conquer as a result of of this course it's amazing um it's absolutely amazing okay maybe there aren't any questions like i said i know sometimes they have a delay so i'm trying to you know uh wait and give you time to answer these questions um i mean give you time to ask these questions so that they can answer them but because i don't see any I am going to go ahead and end this live. I just want to thank you guys for joining me again. We will be here every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Um, Pacific time. If you know a single mom who would benefit from this information, tag her, um, share this, and I just look forward to sharing more information with you. And 
having you enroll with me in the Baby Mama Makeover or the Baby Mama Boot Camp and getting that additional discount. But I will see you all next week. Peace.